students welcome to vidya mirad today i have come up with exercise 6.2 for lines and angles for class 9th so let's begin with it quickly question number 1 in figure find the values of x and y and then show that ab is parallel to cd now here if you look at the figure i have named x and y and there are some lines we need to prove that this ab line is parallel to cd line now let us first consider ae on gf now if you look at a line gf there is a line ae with two angles on it there is 150 and there is one x and as you know angles on a straight line they form a linear pair so accordingly we can find out the value of x now here when we solve it we will get 50 plus x is equal to 180 degree so x comes out to be 130 degrees similarly just look at the uh, cd line and we can see that 130 is equal to y because of the vertically opposite angles now x is also 130 degrees your y is also 130 degrees so that means x is equal to y these form the alternate angle so we can say that ab is parallel to cd question number 2 in the figure if AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF and your Y is to Z is equal to 3 is to 7 we need to find the value of X now if you say they have given 3 and 7 i have mentioned it there as 3a and 7a to make my calculations little easier now let us begin with the equation AB is parallel to CD let it be equation 1 you are given CD is parallel to EF let it be equation 2 from both the equation if you see that cd is common so we can say that ab e will be also parallel to ef now in that case ab parallel to ef the yeah, x will be equal to z because they are the alternate interior angles but you know that x plus y is equal to 180 degree if we consider ab and cd as your line your x plus y will be equal to 180 degree because of the co interior angle or the same side of the transversal their sum will be always equal to 180 now since we know that x is equal to z we can substitute in the equation and we will get it as z plus y equal to 180 what is z now 7a what is y 3a so we can easily find the value of a which comes out to be 18 degrees so your z comes to 126 degrees because 7a 7 multiplied by 18 your is 126 and y is your 3a so 3 multiplied by 18 is 54 and you can see that x is equal to z so the value of x will be also equal to 126 degrees question number 3 in the figure if AB is parallel to CD and EF is perpendicular to CD and angle E sorry GED is equal to 126 degrees find angle AGE GEF and FGE now to make my uh, calculations easier what i have done is i have given the numbers to all the angles 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let us first consider AB parallel to CD and GE transversal in that case your angle 1 will be equal to angle 4 plus 5 which means your angle age will be equal to angle ged both are equal to 126 degree you are given that ged is 126 so your angle 1 will be also equal to 126 the reason why they are equal is because of alternate interior angles now we know that ged is 126 degrees but it is made up of two angles if you see angle 4 and angle 5 we know what is angle 5 90 degrees because it is perpendicular so we can find out angle 4 which comes out to be 36 degrees now we let us again consider ab parallel to cd and ge transversal now in that case your angle 2 should be equal to angle 3 because of the alternate interior angles but we don't know these angles so children there are many ways of doing this either you can do it angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 
because of the linear pair you can also do with the help of the exterior angle property because your if you see g f e will be also 90 degrees you have angle 4 you have g you can find out the angles same way i have done it with the help of the line c e d your angle 3 4 5 will be equal to 180 degrees angles on the straight line is 180 i have 4 i have 5 with me so angle 3 comes out to be 54 degrees so angle 2 will also be equal to 54 degrees angle 2 means f g e which which i need to find out so i have found out all the three angles your a g e your g e f and f g e next question in the figure if p q is parallel to s d and angle p q r is equal to 110 and r s t is equal to 130 find q r s now here i have drawn a line parallel e f to p q and s t now first let me consider the line st parallel to ef and your srs transversal you can see on the same side there are two angles 130 degrees and angle 2 their sum will be equal to 180 degrees because of the co-interior angles so we can easily find out angle 2 which comes out to be 50 degrees by subtracting it from 180 now consider pq parallel to ef what will happen is PQ is already the angle given is 110 that angle will be equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 because of the alternate interior angles I know angle 2 is 50 degrees so I can easily find out angle 1 which comes out to be 60 degrees. Next question in this in the figure if AB is parallel to CD and angle APQ is equal to 50 degrees it's given it's mentioned in the diagram your angle PRD is given as 127 you need to find out angle X and angle Y now if we look at the triangle PQR you can see there is one X and there is one Y and 127 is outside where we can easily use the property of exterior angle now if we begin let it begin with AB parallel to CD and PQ as transversal. In that case, you are already have 50. So, 50 will be equal to X because of the alternate interior angles. Now, from both the angles X and Y, I have X with me. I can easily find out Y with the help of the exterior angle property, which states that 127 will be equal to X plus Y. I have X 50. So I can easily find out y by subtracting it from 127, y comes to 77. The last question, in this question it is given that PQ and RS are two mirror placed parallel to each other and incident ray AB strikes the mirror PQ at B. Okay. The reflected ray moves along the path B, C. Now, if you see the line A, B, it is uh, touching the mirror and then it is reflecting back. And as per this, you must have learnt this angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection. Now, here first of all, in this question, we are going to draw a perpendicular B, L and C, M okay, to the lines P, Q and R, S. Now here when BL is parallel to CM if you see and BC as transversal you can easily say that angle 2 will be equal to angle 3 because of the alternate interior angles and I know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection which means angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 and angle 3 will be equal to angle 4. Now angle 1 will be equal to angle 4 why because 2 is equal to 3 already we have proved now add the equations so angle 1 plus angle 2 will be equal to angle 3 plus angle 4 when we combine it we get the total angles that is angle ABC will be equal to angle BCD and these form the alternate interior angles which means that AB will be parallel to CD I hope children the questions are clear. Please try to uh, 
mention all the information in your diagram itself so that the calculations becomes little easier for you in the next video i am going to teach you exercise 6.3 till that time please go through the videos of the concept which has already been uploaded on the youtube so that you are able to do the exercise easily thank you so much